welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. It is Saturday, so it is grocery haul day. Again, this week I have quite a large grocery haul for you from several stores just to make sure that I have everything on hand that I need for the upcoming week. I found some really great new items that I'm super excited to share with you guys. And of course, some oldies, but some goodies, and just an overall healthy, clean eating grocery haul. So if you wanna see what I picked up for the week, as well as what I am doing for my meal plan and my meal prep, stay tuned. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. So here's what I picked up at Costco just for the week and to have on hand just some snacky type of things. So let me show you what I grabbed from Costco. I picked up two more two packs of the Chosen Foods Avocado Spray. This is such a great deal at Costco. It's $5.99 for two and it's $5.99 for one at the grocery store. So I went ahead and grabbed just two more two packs. And then I picked these up for Troy's lunches. It's just a little salami and cheese pack. I'm not sure what the points are, but I'll put it here on the screen for you guys. I think it's gonna be fairly high with the salami and the cheese. But these are great little individual snack packs for lunches. More monk fruit sweetener because I was just about out and this is my sweetener alternative of choice. Look at right here, diesel. <laughs> And then pumpkin seeds, this was a great price at Costco, $8.99 organic sprouted pumpkin seeds with a touch of sea salt. These are great for salads or just to make granola and that type of snacky stuff with. Pumpkin seeds are really good and pretty low in points. You can have a tablespoon for one smart point and these have great ingredients. They're organic, non-GMO and vegan. And then I grabbed two more packs of my coconut rollers. You guys know I love these. And there was literally like six bags left. So I think that they're not going to carry them anymore, which breaks my heart because they're so good. So I went ahead and picked up two bags. These have excellent ingredients. I mean, really just excellent, excellent ingredients. They're organic. You can have five rollers for three smart points or 10 rollers for seven. So I usually just have five. It's a great sweet treat. It's a great choice for a sweet treat and they're so good. And then I picked up these. These are the Wisps Cheese Crisps, 14 bags. There's Parmesan and cheddar. And these actually were pretty low in points. I went ahead and scanned them when I was at the store. And I want to say there are four smart points a bag, which is not bad for cheese. You can put these on crackers or they make a really good high protein snack and they have good ingredients. They are not organic, but they have pretty good ingredients and they are kind of an approved clean eating food. So I thought individual bags was great. And then we grabbed some turkey jerky for my husband. I don't know that I will eat this, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys the nutritional facts because it's pretty low in points. And here is the ingredients. So it looks like most of the ingredients are pretty good in there actually. So turkey jerky. And then lastly, I was gonna get these last time and I didn't, and then I tried them and they're delicious. These are the organic dark chocolate squares with blueberries. These are so good. You can have one square for two smart points. The reason I didn't get them last time is because they have natural blueberry flavor and I'm not a fan of natural flavors, but it's the last ingredient and they were really, really good. So I went ahead and picked those up. So that's everything from Costco. Here's my haul from Trader Joe's. So I went and picked up some staples for the week. So let's jump into Trader Joe's. First, another bag of my organic olive oil popcorn. You guys, I ate this whole thing in just a few days. This popcorn is so freaking delicious. It is so good. There are your ingredients. So literally it's organic popcorn, olive oil, and salt. You can have three and a half cups, I believe for four points, but it'll be here on the screen for you. Obsessed. I almost bought two bags, but I need to control myself. And I do have a few other snacky things like my Siete chips and stuff that I need to eat. So this, you guys, if you're at Trader Joe's, pick it up. It is so good. And then for my dogs, I grabbed some of the Trader Joe's salmon jerky. Has no chicken or grain, so it's perfect for them. And they love anything fish. It stinks, but my dogs love it. So anything for them, right? And then I grabbed some uncured dry rub sliced bacon. This is a good deal at Trader Joe's and actually has really good ingredients. No sugar, minimally processed nitrates, nitrites, none of that in there. So I grabbed that. 
Also some organic light whipped cream cheese so that I can have this on. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on my Ezekiel raisin bread. I'm so excited. What a fabulous part of breakfast. So this whipped cream cheese was a really good deal at Trader Joe's. Also some pico de gallo. I wanna have this for my Siete chips. I wanted organic because tomatoes are on the dirty dozen, but Trader Joe's didn't have them. And then when I went to Fred Meyer, they did have organic pico. So now I know for future to grab my pico de gallo from Fred Meyer's. And then I grabbed some full fat, plain whole milk yogurt with the cream on top. This is organic and this yogurt is so good. I love this for smoothies, for a snack, so good. So whole milk plain yogurt is a great thing to pick up. And this Trader Joe's one is a really, really good price and it is so good. Two big cartons of organic free range chicken broth. I bought this last time and loved it. So I just wanna have this on hand as I've been going through a lot of chicken broth. I like to cook my quinoa and my brown rice in it. It just gives it a lot of flavor. And then I grabbed the Trader Joe's organic, or not organic, but the green goddess salad dressing. All that's in here is avocado, green onion, lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic. It's so good, you guys. And you can have like a million tablespoons for one smart point. So I grabbed this because I'm going to be having some salads. And I remember how delicious this is. And the ingredients are super duper clean. Peeled garlic because as I've mentioned minced garlic isn't the best option So I went ahead and just grabbed some already peeled because that's the part I hate of whole garlic And then I can just chop this up and add it to my dishes Brussels sprouts. I was bummed out that big bag I got last week that I showed you guys that I said these are killer deal are gone So I paid $3.99 for two pounds and this is less than a pound and it was $3.49 so Sad day that those are gone at Trader Joe's, but I've been loving Brussels sprouts, so I picked those up. We ate all the carrots. Both myself and my husband like to have these as a snack, so this is just some organic cut and peeled carrots. I got some romaine lettuce because I want to, again, make salad. So I was going to do a mix of romaine and then some of those greens, you know, those like kale and spinach and that type of thing. So I grabbed that. And then Persian cucumbers, just little mini cucumbers. These are the organic ones. These are a great snack. I like to dip these in hummus in place of chips or crackers because these are zero points. So grab those. And then lastly, I picked up two bags of the cauliflower gnocchi. You guys, the ingredients in this are really, really good. And I love to throw these in my air fryer or in the oven or in a pan, so good. Cauliflower, cassava flour, potato starch, extra virgin olive oil, and sea salt. The only bad part is the olive oil isn't expeller pressed, but it, that's it. I mean, everything else is great as far as ingredients go. So I picked up two bags, great side dish, low smart point. So that's everything from Trader Joe's. And last but not least is my haul from Fred Meyer. And again, I should have picked up the pico de gallo there, gosh darn it. But let me show you what I grabbed from Fred Meyer. So first I picked up an organic pork tenderloin. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. Also some vanilla. It was a really good price at Fred Meyer. And this is a big four, four ounce organic vanilla Madagascar, which is great vanilla. And I wanna say it was just under $17. That'll definitely last a while. And then I also picked this up because a lot of you had suggested this for coffee. This is the Sweet Leaf Sweet Drops in Vanilla Cream. You guys, this is $9. What the heck? I had no idea, but I'm going to give it a try. It's organic. It's vanilla. I'm going to try it in my coffee, so I'll definitely report back to you. If you guys like this, let me know down in the comments. Also, these Enjoy Life mini chips. I like Lily's, but I sometimes just want a regular chocolate chip, and you guys, these are so good. These are certified organic, and they're also allergy-friendly. They have really, really good ingredients. Literally, cane sugar, unsweetened chocolate cocoa, and butter. That's it. One tablespoon is the serving size. I'll put the points here on the screen. Less expensive than Lily's. I want to say five something, but I've got a few like recipes overnight oats, that type of thing. I want to start making some smoothie bowls, and I wanted mini chocolate chips for that. So this is something new for me. These are from the company Go Raw. These are plant-based superfoods, sprouted organic cookie crisps and carrot cake. And these were on sale for $3.99. That's the only reason that I picked them up. I have had some Go Raw products in the past and they're really good. And these were pretty darn low in smart points. So I'll leave the points here for you guys. But they're raw, plant-based, energy, superfoods. They're organic. So again, you know I'm always on the hunt for some good snacks. So I picked those up. 
And then I totally forgot to get my Wilcox eggs at Costco. I was even in the cold case and forgot. So I just grabbed a dozen happy eggs at Fred Meyer. These were on sale for $3.99. Love these eggs. Also, some organic taco seasoning. You guys, regular taco seasoning has terrible, terrible ingredients. So I went ahead and picked this up just because I wanted to have it on hand. We eat a lot of tacos in my house, so I'm excited to try that. In here is some shrimp from the uh, fresh meat area because I have a recipe coming up for shrimp and it was on sale for $7.99 a pound. So I actually got a pound and a half for about $13 before any discount. So really, really good deal. And then Fred Meyer, unfortunately, does not have a large selection of organic meat when it comes to red meat. So I needed steak for a recipe. So I just grabbed some conventional tri-tip steak. Again, I'm here for the organic. I'm gonna check my local health food store in the future, but this will have to do. Also, I grabbed some frozen corn, some organic frozen corn just to have as a side dish. Asparagus, I did not get it in organic because this is one vegetable that you don't necessarily have to buy organic and Fred Meyer actually didn't have any anyways. So some asparagus for a recipe, inorganic red bell pepper. These definitely buy organic. They are top on the Dirty Dozen list. So I have that for a recipe, inorganic red onion. Again, onions don't have to be purchased organic, but again, I'm trying to really just stick with that so that I'm making sure that most of what I'm eating is organic. Organic blueberries, yay Fred Meyer, because Costco didn't have any. These are the hippie organics. These blueberries are so good, you guys. They're well worth it. And these were on sale for $4.99, which is a steal for organic. Meyer lemons, lemons are another thing that do not have to be purchased organic, and I've yet to find organic Meyer lemons. So if you guys know of a store that carries those, let, let a girl know. And lastly, some organic gold potatoes. Always buy your potatoes organic. They are one of the top items on the Dirty Dozen list. So that is everything from Fred Meyer. Let's jump into this week's meal plan and meal prep. As you guys know, I've been putting my meal planner walkthrough at the end, but really quick, I had to show you this because I'm finally into my brand new meal planner for the year with my new cover. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? So I just wanted to show you just a few of the things that have changed in the meal planner, uh, and then we'll get into my meal plan. So bear with me, just check this out, it's gorge. Okay, so there's still all the tabs that we had before, but you can just see that some of the pictures and things up at the top are a little bit different. It's so beautiful. There's still the inventory tab, and again, just the pictures are a little bit different for your refrigerator your pantry, and then your spices. I really like the new look of everything. Meal plans tab, this is really cool. So let me show you guys that now on the weekly menu, they've given you a spot for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. So that's really cool if you are someone that wants to track all of those things. So that's a new update in the meal planner is getting the option to track everything. Of course, there's still a gatherings tab. It looks just like it did before with all of the different items. And of course, your notes tab. I love the fun design at the top. And then my favorite feature, which I'm glad that they kept, is the little two-sided folder in the back. So those are really the changes in the carryel. So let's jump into meal plan. All right, so we're on the yellow tab and you can see that I've put together my meal plan for March. They still have them at a glance, a monthly calendar, which I love because I use it every single month. I just jot down what is on my meal plan for dinners. As you guys know, I meal prep breakfast, lunch, and a snack, so the only thing I actually have to plan out are my dinner. So you'll only see dinners listed here, but this helps me take meat out that I need for the next night's dinner if it's in the freezer, and also make sure I have everything on hand for dinner. So I love this, and also you guys saw that the weekly menus changed just a little bit. So here is the week that we're currently in. This is the week of 229 through 3, 6, and again, you can see that I'm only tracking my dinners here just because I, again, meal prep. So I really just need to plan out my dinner. So Saturday is an out to dinner. It's the day that I use my weeklies, so I don't track actually at all that day. That's the day that I use my dailies and my weeklies. Sunday, I'm gonna be making slow cooker barbecue pork. I can't wait to share this recipe with you guys. You are gonna see this in my What I Eat in a Day next Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. Monday is a leftovers night because it's a jazzercise night. 
Tuesday, I'm making mom's meatloaf. So this is a really good clean meatloaf recipe. And my husband has been begging for no chicken dinners. So I'm really trying to make an effort to not do as many di chicken related dinners. I'm sure those of you that have a husband that eats Weight Watchers meals can relate. Wednesday is a left leftover night. It's a jazzercise night. Thursday, I'm going to be making lemon garlic shrimp pasta. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for this. I haven't had pasta, you guys, since I switched over to clean eating other than quinoa. But that's not really pasta. Like I'm talking pasta, spaghetti, linguine, penne, rotini, those types of things. So I'm excited for that. And then Friday, I'm making mushroom and steak fajita sandwiches. So to my husband's liking, I have nothing on the menu that's chicken. So that is this week's menu. And then just on the back is where I jot down meal prep. It just makes it really easy for me to have everything on hand. So in meal prep this week, I'm going to be making protein blueberry quinoa breakfast bowls. Again, you guys will see this on Monday, which is when my meal prep is up. Lunch is French onion chicken meatballs. With my meatballs, I'm probably going to have some vegetables and I think probably some quinoa. And then for a snack, I'm making no-bake workout bars. And I'm really excited about these. They are a little bit higher in points, but the ingredients are so good. So you guys will see all three of these recipes on Monday in my meal prep. So that is my meal plan, meal prep, and this is my brand new beautiful Carryell meal planner. If you're interested, my code here on the screen will get you 10% off and free shipping. Highly recommend this. It's a great way to plan your meals and stay on track. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the good stuff that I picked up for the upcoming week my meal plan, my meal prep. I'm so excited about the recipes and for all of the new good stuff that I found. I can't wait to share with you guys my clean eating snacks video. I have been looking and looking and buying and researching all of the best snacks to eat for a clean eating diet. So I can't wait to share those with you guys in an upcoming video. I hope you enjoyed this week's haul. We got quite a bit of good stuff. And again, I'm so excited for the upcoming recipes. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you stuck around, hit that little subscribe button and the little notification bell. That way you're just notified whenever a new video is posted. Thumbs up this video if you love grocery hauls and comment down below. Let me know what are you most excited to see as far as my meal plan and meal prep go. Stay tuned on Monday for meal prep and then a little bit of this food will be shown in my what I eat in a day next Wednesday. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.